Kitco Mining special coverage of the Gold Forum Americas is brought to you by Metalla Royalty and Streaming. Mining legends never retire. They're just waiting for the next deal. <laughs> this is Paul Harris with Kitco Mining at the Gold Forum Americas in Colorado Springs. And joining me are two of the most storied names in the industry, Frank Juicer of the Fury Group and Neil Woodyear, CEO of Aris Mining. Frank and Neil, welcome to Kitco. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Now, you've both achieved an awful lot in this sector, too much to sort of name and go through, um, through your multi-decade careers. You've both, recently, you've both recently returned with new ventures. Why now? Well, um, I'll speak for myself. Uh, I, for a few years now, I've been looking to a bull market in metals that I think is going to be a secular bull market in metals, especially gold. Um, and I think we're in the beginnings of it now. You're seeing it. Gold's found a new level and it's staying there. And I think there's going to be tremendous opportunities for creating wealth in our industry, although you would not believe it today by looking at the market. This is an excellent time to be building something or buying something. And so that's the reason we're starting over with Eris, which we started two years ago. Uh, and we're building a, a gold mining company with several mines and several projects. Um, so it's just in anticipation of what I believe will be a great bull market. I, I think from my point of view, and we haven't really left and come back again because the, the first venture we did together in mining as opposed to financial was Endeavour, followed by Lear Gold, followed quickly by Aris. There's been no gaps. It's been a continuation. And it's been a continuation which we, we've learned a lot going through the process. And I think that, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is definitely my last one. So, you know, it's, it's been a steady process of learning and developing the, the technique. Thank you. Now, how do you build a mining company? This is, um, you know, I won't say it's a, a simple thing, but it perhaps seems simple to some people, but I imagine it's immensely complicated. And what is it that you guys do that really seems to work? I'll start. I, I just, we have a very specific strategy and model that we've been using for over 20 years. It started and we first applied this approach when we did Wheaton River, which turned into Gold Corp starting in 2001. Tremendously successful. And it's a buy and build strategy. So you're doing both at the same time using your expertise, our expertise in capital markets, our expertise in M&A. And obviously, Neil is an expert in debt financing. That's where he, the world he came from and an excellent operator. So my philosophy is always very simple. You find a great asset, back a great management team, you invest early, and then you just wait, your patience. And I, you know, all of these deals on average take between three and seven years to mature to something of great value, depending on markets. And that's been our experience. And so that's our approach. It's a buy and build strategy. And I think from the buy side, <coughs> what, what we always look for is an asset that has a fair valuation, but has some good upside potential that you're not paying for. For instance, when West Africa, we bought a project, we had a feasibility set in another project we could do, which gave us a second mine. And I think that's something we're doing now in, in Aris when we took over Segovia. We're also now into the small miner business. We didn't pay to get into it. We paid for an asset, a good producing asset, but it gives us another entry point. And I think part of our philosophy has also been that we never actually have to do a deal. We can always walk away from a deal if we don't like the pricing of it. So we never put ourselves in a situation where we just have to get this deal done. And the market changes and a good deal today could be a bad deal tomorrow. And what is good and available today may not be available tomorrow. So you have to be very pragmatic about it. And I think we are in our approach. You've both been involved in building mining companies, several mining companies. Is it addictive? <laughs> I would say so. Yeah, no, I think that, listen, I can only speak for myself. There's nothing more exciting than starting with a concept. And that's how all our deals start, all, all our companies start. It's like, what are we going to do? How are we going to approach this? And you're starting from scratch. And most times you're starting with a smaller asset. We, still, we call it our starter kit. Mm -hmm. And then we build from there with bigger and bigger assets, more or longer life assets. And the thrill of achieving success, which we've done several times, is just too much to walk away from. And, you know, I do it, like my, my life is mostly philanthropy. I've dedicated my life to running my foundations, which is great, it's what I love. But this is, this is just fun. I love doing this. I love just starting from nothing and creating something of great value. I love to see people make money. 
we're going to have to get security to escort you through the room because I think uh, if you <laughs> people hear you say this is fun, you're probably going to get lynched <laughs> in this market. It, it, it definitely is fun. It definitely is it's addictive. When you can bring the elements of putting something together, you, you have to do with the technical elements, you have to do with the political elements, social elements, financial elements. It, it really is so multidimensional that to pull them all together is great fun and it's a great feeling of success and totally addictive.